In this video, we are going to do a question that is based on uh, the theorem called midpoint theorem. It says, the theorem says that uh, if you have a triangle, so this is ABC, the theorem says line joining the midpoints of two sides. Let's say if I say P is the midpoint of this side, P being the midpoint of this side and Q being the midpoint of this side. And if you join this line, then this line PQ will be parallel to BC and the length of this PQ will be half of BC. That's what the property says based on which we are going to do this question. So as in, uh, you can see that there is a triangle given here and uh, further it is mentioned that D being the midpoint of AB, E being the midpoint of BC and F being the midpoint of AC, right? So we have these uh, lengths as equal. And what we have to prove is uh, we need to prove that this triangle, these all four triangles are congruent. So I've written this uh, given and the two proof part. This is what we have to prove this given that uh, these are the midpoints and we have to prove this into four congruent triangles. Now let's begin with uh, the proof part. What we can see here that uh, we will be applying the midpoint theorem. So we can see that. D and E are the midpoints of uh, these two sides. So therefore, DE will be parallel to BC and the length of DE will be half of BC. So first we need to write down in, in the proof part in triangle ABC, we can directly apply B, uh, midpoint theorem and say DE is parallel to BC and DE is equal to half of BC, right? And you must write down the reason uh, for this, that is using midpoint theorem. Now, what you can see that uh, D is parallel to BC. Now, just look into this part of the figure, just this one. Now, what you can see that uh, since D is parallel to BC, so I can write D is parallel to BE as parts of parallel line are parallel. So what I'm mentioning here, that this line DE is parallel to BE. Further, you can see that I can write DE is equal to half of BC. I can replace half of BC, half of BC. As you can see here, that E is the midpoint. So half of BC is BE as well as EC. So I'm writing BE. So I'll write, this is half of BC as BE. So this is what uh, changes I have made here. Is simply replacing half of BC as BE. Now look into this part. We have uh, DE parallel to BC and DE equal to BC. If you look into this figure, it's more clear. Here, these two lines are parallel, right? And these two lines are equal as well. You can see. So these two lines are equal and parallel. So whenever the same pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is equal as well as parallel, so we say it's a parallelogram. Now, we can simply write that uh, therefore D, F, E, B is a parallelogram. Right? The reason is the same pair of opposite sides is equal and parallel. Now, what you can see here that uh, in this parallelogram here, DE is the diagonal. So once again, I'll talk about this triangle. Let me, the quad, sorry, the parallelogram I'm talking about is this. In this parallelogram, we have uh, this DE as its diagonal and diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangle. So we need to simply write down there four, we can write triangle say D E F is congruent to triangle. This is uh, E P D, right? And uh, the reason here is that diagonals of a parallelogram divides it into diagonals of parallelogram, right? Divides into congruent triangle. So if I mark this equation one, and similarly, you can say that similarly, we have a, similarly, we can say that this is 
a parallelogram. That means we can prove, we don't have to prove the same thing in geometry. We can say this similarly. We can say that uh, this is D, F, C, E, as well as the other one. I'm talking about this one, right? You can even say this to be a parallelogram. So we can simply write as well as a, this is uh, A, D, E, F are parallelograms. So if it is a parallelogram using same property, we can write, let's say this triangle, you can write this triangle congruent to this as well as this, right? So we can write here that triangle, this is D, E, F is congruent to triangle E, F, C, and we have this triangle D, E, F. That's triangle D, E, F is congruent to this triangle as well. That is A, D, F. So what we have done, if you look into these equations, that is from equation one and two, we can say these all four triangles are congruent. You have to write simply at the end. So from one and two, and then just write down that ABC are divided into four congruent triangles. 